Hello, and this is just a quick rundown of a few of the things that you can see and do in Germany in June 2013. There are no public holidays anywhere in Germany for the whole of the month, but school vacations begin on the following dates in the following states. On the 19th in Berlin, on the 20th in Brandenburg and Hamburg, on the 22nd in Mecklenburg-West Pomerania, on the 24th in Schleswig-Holstein, and on the 27th in Bremen and Lower Saxony. So, if you are on the road in the north of Germany towards the end of the month, particularly going towards the coast or towards airports, you may find traffic a little heavy. The south of Germany will follow suit at the beginning of July, so be warned about that as well. Um, I've picked a few festivals from the hundreds and hundreds that are available, some big, some small. Um, I've done my best to find official websites where I could, or at least websites where you can find more information about these. I've put links in the video description. If you're watching this on YouTube, you'll find the video description below the video. Uh, not all of them, unfortunately, are available in English. We begin on the 1st with the Carnival of Cultures in Bielefeld. Music, theatre, dance from all over the world, lots of people taking part. Kicks off at 3pm with a great big street parade. Now, if you want to get to the main stage, it does cost money. It's 7 euros, or for children aged 12 or under, it's 1 euro 50. There are other events as well. There are other uh, stages throughout the city. I'm not sure if you have to pay for all of them, but certainly the main stage you do have to pay for. Uh, as an alternative, the following weekend, stretching over three days from the 7th to the 9th, is the Geldern Street Party. It's a similar kind of idea. There are stages dotted throughout the uh, town. There's live music, jazz, samba, rock. As far as I can see, uh, it's free. Plus, if you're not so interested in the music, there is also a flea market. Same weekend, from the 7th to the 10th, in Ludwigsburg, is the horse market. Now, that began in 1731, literally, as a horse market. Horses were actually bought and sold, but these days it's just a great big festival featuring horses, and it's uh, something you might want to visit if you or somebody in your family is a big fan of horses. The high point is the parade through the city, which begins at 2 p.m. on the Sunday. On the 8th and the 9th, so again it's the same weekend, this is over in Röbel Müritz, the Röbeler Fischtage. When you're looking for this one, be very careful because there are at least two places in Germany called Röbel. The one you want is the one in Mecklenburg, West Pomerania. It's Röbel Müritz to the north of Berlin. It's a small town. This is a small festival. There are various uh, events that look quite fun. I'm particularly drawn to the idea of a bathtub regatta. The main reason for going though, of course, is for the fish, specifically Matthias, which is salted herring, normally eaten cold in a creamy sauce with boiled potatoes. Perhaps this is a speciality of North Germany. It's not to everybody's taste, but if you're feeling a little bit adventurous or you particularly like fish and you want an alternative to the great big crowded festivals, you might want to look this one up. I should mention that on the 21st is World Music Day, or to give it its original title, Fête de la Musique, because it began in France, but it's now spread to many cities in many countries, where basically live music is offered normally for free, or often for free, it's not always the case. Participating cities in Germany include Berlin, Erfurt and Weimar. There are probably others, but those are the ones that I could find. Also, just across the border in France, Strasbourg, if you're in the Black Forest area, there's also uh, events for Fête de Musique going on there. The following week, from the 22nd to the 30th, is Kiel Week, or Kieler Woche in German. Now, the centerpiece of this is a race for sailing ships, which is spectacular in its own right, but it goes on for a whole week and there's a massive, massive folk festival attached to it. Lots of things to see and do for people who are interested in sailing, lots of things for people to see and do if they're not interested in sailing. It is a very famous event, it's very big, it's likely to be very crowded, but it's something you might want to consider. A much smaller event on the 28th, going through to the 7th of July, is the Bergstraße Weinmarkt, which is a wine festival in the town of Heppenheim. You can sample local wines and other specialities and be serenaded by live open-air music, and there are a few other events as well. 
uh, check it out if that might appeal to you. That's about it. As I said, that's just a tiny selection. I have found websites, uh, links in the video description. If you can think of anything that you think might be interesting for me to include uh, in the July video, then please let me know.